I am Dr. Hidea Alasuli. I present in this video my detailed story about the academic corruption I met in higher colleges of technology in Dubai in 2017. My objective is to explore all type of corruptions that happen in academic institutions over the world. My story in higher colleges of technology in Dubai which is governmental institution was very bad and it shows that they give me work contract as trap to destroy me. One actually the higher colleges of technology in Dubai gave me work contract for three years starting from August 1st, 2017 with probation period one semester where they can fire me without reason anytime. Two they put in the contract everything that protects them. And set up the regulations regarding our teaching in tough way to restrict us to move in the way they want with no freedom at all for us. The coursework was 70% in university while the final was 30%. We must teach common materials over all campus of higher colleges of technology HCT. They wanted actually that when any teacher fired, they know what he taught because the teaching materials are common. We supposed to have common final and that was big restriction in our teaching. The teaching materials were too much difficult for second and third year student levels. I told them that students can't understand that level of materials and they did not listen. I had to move in the way they wanted as the final was common. So I was not having freedom to choose suitable materials to students' levels. And that was the most complicated issues. 3. The other teachers were not teaching everything in the course. They just cover simple things and give very simple tests yo please students and when the final comes they teach what will be covered in the final. I refused that and I insisted to teach everything mentioned yo need in the syllabus for sake of student knowledge. My exams were lengthy that covers every point that I was teaching. And that what made the students afraid as they got used on easy way to get A marks without study or hard exams. For when I arrived UAE in January 8, 2017 they put me in hotel two weeks and they asked me to find accommodation myself. The housing contracts are so expensive in Dubai. So I agreed with my relative Ediv to stay with him with monthly rent until I can find accommodation if I passed the probation period. I was worrying always that the university can fire me anytime in probation period. Five in second week one new hired teacher from Jordan his name, Dr. Tamor threatened me that I will not stay in university long and the dean drive, Mohammed Aljera is his friend and he can influence him about me. I surprised why he says that. I became upset and told him I don't like Jordan second day to show him that he is not giving good reputation to Jordan people. The other new hired staff members in the office went and wrote complaint that I said I don't like Jordan and I surprised why they did that against me. The university gave me warning while I was insulted by that Jordanian. That warning showed me that university wants to get rid of me anyway. 6. The head of department Dr. Walid Zigalai gave all staff members five subjects without lab instructors. It was big load that can't be handled by any staff in world but I withstood. I had to prepare lectures and labs and tests and quizzes. I had teaching load six hours continually most days. I was not sleeping all the time preparing and marking. In the same time I was always annoyed by head of department claiming students came and complain about very trivial things. 7. First day I entered classes I had to teach 6 hours continuously. The students all were local emirate girls. I noted that the students had bad behavior and very weak. I was explaining in Arabic first lecture in order for them to understand, and I was explaining very easy things that any student even in school level can understand. I surprised the students get out without permission without respecting me and went to head of department to show him they refuse me. The head of department called me 4 o'clock and told me that they complained from trivial things, like I spoke Arabic. And claimed that I will get out of syllabus and that I wrote one word in English wrong, and that I pronounced one word in English different way. One time a student complained that she afraid that I will give them exam that can extend beyond 4 o'clock and she will miss the bus. The head of department was annoying me with their stupid complaints daily manner and these were all lying things. They were not writing anything on board so I had to use projector all time and distribute the lectures electronically. They were getting out from class any time without respecting me and I was not understanding why that bad behavior. When I told the head of department, he told me to leave them getting out as they might need to go WC. 
8. So it was clear students don't want to learn and they objection toward me because I wanted to them to learn and pass good exams. I was giving weekly quizzes to assist them to study regularly but their level was weak. They always were insisting to give them easy tests of multiple choice as other teachers so they pass without study but I refused that. 9. If you compare test 1 of my subject with test 1 of other teacher in same subject his name Dr. Kasim you will be chalked. His test was very simple consists of mostly multiple choice in four pages any student can solve it without study. While my test was 12 pages without multiple choices that covers every point they studied. When the students saw the difference they raised their objection why my tests lengthy and his test for his class easy. 10 You surprise these weak GERD students were having excellent marks in all other subjects. I did not understand until I saw the tests of other teachers were very easy. Just 4 pages most of questions are multiple choice but my test was 12 pages with no multiple choices and covers all materials. I attach some tests I gave. 11 in 7th week before end of drop after doing first test the students felt they may not pass because of my long tests and teaching strategy. They agreed to make drop in group decision. You surprise some students got 80% in my first test that was lengthy and so they had good level and they dropped my course. So it was planned to drop Togo there in group to influence my reputation. 12 I left with 3 subjects out of 5 subjects. One subject of two students and other of four students and third of sixteen students. I did not care. One class had sixteen students. You surprised that I gave them long KIs before test one and they got high marks and so I expected they will answer well in test one. They did not answer same questions they answered in quiz one. That proved someone told them not to study. 13 When I saw my students level average in test one in one of my classes is low. I asked the head of department to give them chance and do third test in the course. He refused claiming the regulation does not allow to have three tests in the course. He just wanted to complicate things to me and raise the student objections. 14 As students feared failure and they raised their complaints. I wanted to help them and do third test in course but again the head of department was refusing without reason. 15 I took the students two field trips to Dubai Electrical Company DEWA. The staff teaching them there noticed that the students are so careless and shouted to them to care about learning. Here I understood their bad behavior not only with me, and they don't care to understand everywhere. 16 Suddenly the head of department brought three moderators and asked them to raise the marks by P passing student mistakes or making curve. Here the game became very clear that they want to manipulate the marks to please students. I refused cheating my marks and I offered only helping them by repeating test 1 or doing third test. 17 After completion of 3 months in October 26, 2017 they fired me and told me not to go class. I surprised and I understood that they want to manipulate the student grades through other teacher and by that the game is over. I told them I will not provide them the marks or any information. 18 They cut my salary eventually straightforward. They said the don't need reason of firing me as I am in probation period. I just have to come one month for clearance and visa cancellation. 19 After that I wrote my story in net so that to prevent them manipulating my marks I was worried to allow their game to succeed. The university wrote complaint to police that I did defamation to their reputation. 20 The police called me and I refused to go as he will take my passport and maybe will take me to prison. 21 The university stopped my emails so that to hide all evidences of their behavior and student behavior toward me they prevented me to enter university and so the laptop and all my materials still there they wanted actually to hide all evidences against them by that too. 22 They also called me to violation committee to judge me that I wrote my complaint in the net. I surprised how I am fired and I am forwarded to violation committee and police too. 23 So I was homeless without salary and the police keep calling me. They wanted to cancel my residency while I must stay in UAE for court. How that? 24 I went to the Ministry of Higher Education and they told me they have no control over higher colleges of technology. I went to Ministry of Labor and they told me they have no control over higher colleges of technology because it is governmental. So no place I could complain on them. 25 I took my bags and bought ticket and traveled. 
26. The university blocked all my emails so I don't send them emails. 27. All problems I faced with Emirate people was inside university, but Emirate people outside and police was good. Outside university I had no problems. 28. I sent emails to immigration department in Dubai, but they did not give any information about my status and did not provide solution to my problem as I am outside now. 29. Based on academic integrity, I announce that I am innocent from the final grades in the subjects I taught and withdrawn from me before the second test to manipulate my grades and tests by other teachers. I demand that my name is not placed as his teacher in these materials. I have refused to hand over the materials I have taught and the grades of quizzes and laboratories. These courses 1. Power Generation and Transmission 201710 underscore 12820, EEL 2023 FO2. 2. Power Distribution 201710 underscore 12828, EEL 3013 FO2. 3. Power Distribution 201710 underscore 12827, EEL 3013 FO1. 30. Here Email of Involved People. Here of Department Dr. Walid Zigali W. Zigali at hct.ac.ae. Dean of Engineering Dr. Mohammed Al Jaram Maljara at hct.ac.ae. Chancellor of Higher Colleges of Technology Chancellor at hct.ac.ae. The Administrator of Dubai Branch of Higher Colleges of Technology Tajaf at hct.ac.ae. The Chancellor of Higher Colleges of Technology Chancellor at hct.ac.ae. Human Resources of Higher Colleges of Technology ABD Asia Al Rasis Al Ray ESI at hct.ac.ae. The Legal Consultants in Higher College of Technology Alam Mohammed S. Mohammed at hct.ac.ae. The Legal Consultant of Higher College of Technology AAL Amari at hct.ac.ae. The Human Resources of Higher Colleges of Technology Rizwana Mohammed R. Mohammed at hct.ac.ae. Vice Chancellor of Higher Colleges of Technology VC at hct.ac.ae. The Academic Operation Manager of Higher Colleges of Technology Dr. Gadrian G. Dirayan at hct.ac.ae.